Here we're about to perform the final assembly on the transmission. I have the case and the holder clean, ready to go. Start off the output shaft rear ring gear assembly. The output carrier. Sun gear assembly. Low reverse clutch, clutch pack or D clutch. And then I went in plate, friction. Steel plate. Friction. Steel plate. Friction. Steel plate. Friction. Steel plate, friction, end up with a steel plate on top, and our waved cushion plate. We're of a low diode, a diode or a roller clutch or a sprag is a race with an element that will only allow motion to turn one way. It locks the other way. It doesn't allow a unit to turn in reverse. So what fits on the outside of it? This? Yeah. This is where it splines into the case. And then what about the moving part? This splines into the output carrier. Has an anti clunk spring. When going from going into low or going into first gear, so this doesn't rattle in the case. You can see it over there. keeps tension on it so it doesn't rattle. We have our center support. With our 2-6 clutch assembly or C clutch. You notice it has a key in it. A key over here. It coincides with notches in the case to keep it from turning for location purposes.
the tapered snap ring assembly. Helps keep the center support seated into the case. We have our direct or B clutch assembly. We have our front gear train and front clutch and shaft assembly. Finally, we have our pump assembly. This particular model uses no gasket. It was important I made sure that these surfaces were flat, free of burrs.